the jungles of Africa, home to many amazing creatures. Now, while the lion may be known as the king of beasts in the savanna, here in the jungle, there is another animal who rules the jungles and doesn't bend the knee to anyone. An animal of intelligence and immense strength that makes some of the strongest men in the world look like nothing. There are different stereotypes around apes. Chimps are considered smart, as their kind were the first to go to space. Monkeys are the cute and friendly ones that we all want to feed bananas, until they start throwing crap at us. But the gorilla, especially the silverback gorilla, is known for only one thing, its insane strength. So, what sets silverbacks apart from others of their kind? Well, first, the term silverback does not relate to a specific gorilla species. It's basically an adult male gorilla. Just think of the silver fur as sort of the gray hairs on old people, minus the weakness. Or think of it similar to the mane of a lion that can change with age and experience. Silverback gorillas can be identified by the grayish-white hairline that runs along the back and shoulders of the animal. A blackback gorilla is a male gorilla that has reached the age where he's no longer considered a juvenile, but is still too young to be a silverback gorilla. Sorry kid, gotta wait a bit longer to earn your color. A female is significantly smaller than her male counterpart, and although they're both gorillas, the females unfortunately don't get the silverback hair. Again, another similarity to lions and their mane, in which only males get them. Wow, these two animals have a lot of similarities. Now, gorillas are pretty clear on hierarchy like most other animals. The biggest and strongest silverback is the alpha that leads the group, which is called the troop. As part of their social structure, gorillas stay in groups and stay together for years as the group moves on. Males take turns leaving the group to explore other territories and gather food for the rest of the gorillas when they return. Silverbacks lead these groups because they have more strength than others. However, when a mature and solitary blackback or silverback feels powerful enough, he will strive to dethrone the dominant silverback in the troop. And so the tug of war begins. With silverbacks weighing up to 400 pounds on average, with some weighing as much as 500 pounds, you'd better have the strength, valor, and skills to dethrone a ruling silverback or suffer the consequences. If you want to run this crew, you better prove you're worthy of running it. Now, if gorillas only eat fruits and veggies, how do they get so big? Before a human could ever become half as muscular as a gorilla, they would have to lift a lot of weights with many intense exercises and have a high-protein diet. So what do gorillas eat? Well, this is where things get crazy. Gorillas might actually be omnivores. While they're mostly on a vegetarian diet, they will eat a lot of insects such as termites, larvae, and ants. Okay, but that would just make them insectivores then. Well, did you know that for several years, people thought that chimps were also strictly vegetarians? Well, not anymore. Chimps will actually hunt other smaller monkeys and mammals. Pretty crazy, right? Now, whether this is cruel or not, some zoos in the world feed their gorillas meat, and they actually do eat it. Not only that, but some of the feces of the gorillas in the wild have had traces of DNA of small mammals. So, who knows? Apart from that, gorillas can grow their own protein and bacteria that they have inside their digestive system, which helps in their growth to become so powerful. The massive size of silverbacks helps them ward off danger because few predators would want to take them on in a fight. When you see a silverback gorilla in the wild, it's usually best to stay at least 20 yards away from them so they don't feel threatened by your presence. Once you get closer than 10 yards from the gorillas, you should make sure that the wind isn't blowing towards them because then they will smell you before seeing you. And no, please don't pound your chest when you see them as they will take this as a challenge and it will not end well for you at all. You dare challenge me, puny human? It's essential to keep in mind that when attaining maturity, some males choose to remain with their birth group even after maturing. They will maintain their allegiance to the dominant silverback and assist in defending the group from potential threats. It's not uncommon to find multiple silverback gorillas in a group. However, as mentioned before, there's only one dominant silverback in a gorilla family. A gorilla group has numerous females, adolescents, juveniles, newborns, and some adult males. The dominant silverback in the group holds the leadership position and has complete authority over the others. He decides what will be done and when it will be done. He chooses the times for the group to eat and rest and has the right to mate with any of the group's females. Wow, yet another similarity to the lion. If a silverback decides to leave his troop, he will do it at around 12 years of age when he reaches adulthood. This happens because as males mature, their testosterone levels increase, which causes them to look for new opportunities to mate with female gorillas outside their natal group. 
Sometimes, these lone silverbacks are joined by other juvenile males who have also left their family group. When they do join up, these two or more males will form what is called a bachelor group. Bachelor groups can last anywhere from two weeks to five years, until there's only one male left in the group. If a single silverback does find another female in his bachelor group, he'll try to take her away from his fellow bachelors. However, it doesn't always work out in his favor, and it could lead to conflicts between him and the other boys over that particular female. Yeah, they're all friends until it's time to mate, then they become foes. Silverbacks have an immense strength that we have not been able to exactly determine. Some scientists believe that they have the strength of 9 adult humans, while others say that some of the really strong ones could have the strength of 20 adult humans. Now how cool is that? Robusticity, which can be defined as a larger ratio of muscle mass to total body mass, is the reason for their extraordinary strength and body weight. But come to think of it, how would some of the strongest men in the world fare against a silverback? While no one has ever tried to fight a gorilla hand-to-hand, -hand, it's easy to predict who would emerge victorious in such a contest. A silverback gorilla can probably bench press around 4,000 pounds, while some of the strongest bodybuilders can only bench about 800 pounds. Oh come on, my grandma can bench more than you! Meaning that even the strongest of wrestlers, boxers, and MMA fighters would be reduced to a pulp if an enraged silverback were to attack them. Apart from that, they have thicker skin and bones than us, so even if you did manage to hit them, you would just end up hurting yourself. Ah, my hand! Humans are no match for gorillas, so don't even think about fighting them if you encounter them. Just stay low to the ground to make yourself look harmless and hope you don't get hurt. If you don't want none, don't start none! The charismatic silverback gorilla is the dominant member of the group and leads by example. As powerful as an alpha may be, they will prefer to simply scare off a threat or intruder rather than fight it. Intruders can refer to males from other groups, recalcitrant members of their group, animals like leopards, or even humans that are trying to poach them. If a silverback gorilla spots a potential danger or another silverback from a different group, he will scare it off by standing up and puffing out his chest aggressively and pounding it. Yeah, I don't know about you, but that would be more than enough to make most of us get a heart attack. If the previous measure is ineffective, he will rip up and throw plants at the intruder while producing a loud sound. After that, the silverback will pretend to attack while using all four of his legs. If none of these is successful and the potential danger or intruder still hasn't gotten the message, which at this point you're just asking for if you haven't gotten the hint, the silverback will launch a frontal assault and strike the target with either its fist or its teeth. A silverback gorilla will risk his life to protect his group, especially the young gorillas against poachers and people who trade them or steal infant gorillas for a pet. Stay away from my troop! The greatest threat to silverbacks is unfortunately humans. The issue with humans is that most people don't understand how to interact with gorillas, which can lead to devastating consequences. There are many instances where a human has approached a gorilla because they're curious or thought it would be fun to pet them, only for the gorilla to respond by knocking them down or beating them up. Hey buddy, haven't you heard of personal space? This is why you must stay away from these majestic animals, as they will attack if they feel threatened when you get too close. The silverback gorilla is one of the most majestic and mysterious animals. These creatures are keystone species crucial to their environment. They have a dominant aura, moving slowly as they walk on all fours, but appearing upright when standing or sitting down. When walking on all fours, they use both hands to hold themselves up with knuckles touching the ground. There is still much to be uncovered about silverbacks, the kings of the jungle. Now, whether they could dethrone the lion as the king of the beasts, that's a topic for another time.